So how might we learn how to deal with conflict and quarreling from the early church? Most of you know that the United Methodist Church is in the midst of a period of conflict over human sexuality. There's a lot of gatekeeping on both sides of the aisle. There have been many unkind things said and done on both sides. How do we, like the early church, learn to listen to one another? I did ask Greg to share some signs of hope that he's seen at General Conference, where many things like this will be discussed, and here's some of what he said. There are signs of hope that those who are here have a strong desire to remain a connectional church in spite of our divisions, and an expectation that in spite of changes that may come, those here want to move forward as a stronger church. The unity, despite non-uniformity, makes us stronger as the United Methodist Church. The truth is that grace wins. The work of Jesus Christ wins. Grace wins the match every time.